horse tooth, horse tooth hike. So we're going to do a little bit more uh, floor work, relaxing the body, trying to calm the nervous system, calm ourselves from a busy, hectic day, or just if there's any stress in our lives at this moment, you need a little bit of release. So let's just start by bringing our hands palms together and just relax your shoulders. Sit here for three to five deep breaths. You know, inhaling and slowly releasing as you exhale. And a couple more, inhaling and exhaling. And then just relax your hands, palms up or index finger and thumb. Stay here for three more deep breaths. Feeling the rise of the breath the fall of the breath. Close your eyes or soft gaze. Just feel that breath move through the body. Nice deep inhales. And exhales. Let's add a little eagle arm. Stretch out those arms like somebody's pulling your fingers in both directions. Feel that chest open up. Feel your shoulder blades open. Let's cross in front. One arm on top. Wrap those arms bringing the hands together or the back of the hands. All right, to go a little deeper in the stretch, just stretch those fingers up to the ceiling. Feel those shoulder blade muscles open. Deep breaths. Just relax on the exhale. Take a nice deep breath. Feel those lungs open up that heart center. Create space for the diaphragm. And then slowly release, stretch out those arms, reach, reach, reach. Eagle arms, opposite arm on top, wrap those arms, relax, stretch the fingers up, feel the upper arm, shoulders, upper arms, three to five deep breaths. Good. And slowly release, extend, let's add a twists going to either direction stretching that shoulder blade back opening up through the heart center and working your way back take a nice deep inhale and exhale as you rotate to the other side stretching that shoulder back working your way back. Let's take those legs and extend them forward, stretching those legs out. Grounding your heels, toes are up, reach the arms all the way up, nice deep breath. And then take the hands above the knees, pressing the palms down, elbows out, coming down. Three to five breaths. And then you work your way back up, nice deep inhale. Take it below the knees, pressing down, elbows, press that belly in, working your way forward. Only go as far forward as you feel comfortable. And your third and last one, take it up, above the knees, below the knees, or take it down a little further, down towards the lower legs or your feet. Three to five deep breaths. Slowly work your way back up, and then you're going to bring the soles of the feet together, pressing your palms down, relax your inner thighs, and then you slowly start to lift the chest up, looking up to the sky or your ceiling, opening up through that heart center, creating space in the abs, the ribs, your diaphragm, and slowly work your way up. Let's take it to straddle. Take those legs out nice and wide, grounding your heels. Taking the hands forward as you walk yourself forward. Find that back stretch. Press your palms, bend the elbows, and then gently work your way forward. You want to keep your chest up, shoulders back, as opposed to rounding. Take it up, open. Good, sinking down a little further if that's comfortable. And 
and slowly work your way back up. Let's take it to all fours. Cat cow. All right. Tucking that chin in, round the shoulders. Stretching that tailbone back, lifting through the chin. Three to five of these. And we're going to take it to reverse table. Left leg extends, right arm reaches out. And relax. Other side. Leg stretches out. Add the opposite arm. Work your way back. Sitting back, either hero pose or cross-legged. You decide which one you want to do. If you take it to hero, relaxing your shoulders, arm reaches up, stretch the fingers to the shoulder, pushing that elbow back, or take it up here, stretch it back, and if you want to go deeper, take that arm behind you, stretch it back, both fingers facing in the same direction. Three to five breaths. And then we switch, stretch out those arms. Opposite arm goes up. Reach for the shoulders, push back or up here or take it all the way back. Fingertips pointing in the same direction, opens up the chest, triceps. Three to five breaths. And then slowly release, stretch out those arms and float those arms down. All right, coming onto our backs for bridge pose. Legs are hip width apart, relaxing your shoulders, easy breaths. And then we're going to slowly start to raise the hips up, stretch the knees forward, relax your spine, easy breaths. And stay for three to five breaths as you extend, stretching. And when you've had enough, you slowly lower down. Bringing those thighs to you, press back, and it helps to go circles in one direction, and then you reverse the direction, and work your way back. Bridge pose, option two. Working your way back up, and as you inhale, you take the arms and stretch them all the way back. A little bit of ab work. Core work, bring the hips down the arms, take it back up, stretch. You want to do at least six to eight of these, no more than ten. Up and down. When you've had enough of that, draw those thighs in. Wind reliever, push away. Exhale, flex your feet, draw it back. Inhale, point the toes, push away, hug, eye of the needle, take your left foot over the right thigh, stretch that leg out, hip opener, then relax that leg, draw the knee to you, interlace in front of the leg or behind the leg, bring it back, and you point and flex that foot, and small circles. Take your time as you do this, stay as long as you want, and then we release, stretch, switch legs, push that leg back, eye of the needle, pointing and flexing that foot, and small circles, both directions. 
and relax. Uncross, roll to either side. And let's add a twist, bringing yourself back up. One leg crosses over. Add that arm around the leg, take it back. If you want to go deeper, that arm extends, stretch it back. And slowly work your way back, switch sides. Other side as you cross, wrap it around or stretch the arm across. Work your way back. So wrapping up, bring in your hands, take one hand, place it over your heart. Take the other hand, place it above the belly button or below. You're gonna take some deep breaths. So you're gonna inhale to a count of three, expanding the belly, the chest, the rib cage. You're gonna exhale to count of four. And you wanna do that several times. Once you've had enough, you relax your arms, relax your, your hands, and then just slowly let that breath come to a natural, even pace. Thank you, yogis and yoginis. May you be safe and healthy. Enjoy your day at Horse Stew. Namaste.